Welcome to the introductory video for Physics 157. My name is Julie Alexander. I will be your instructor for this term. I have been teaching at the college for about 35 years and have taught many, many first year level physics courses. Although this will be the first time that I'll be teaching for the electronic students, I usually teach for the mechanical technology students or the bridge students. So your course will be 100% online. Uh, the best way to contact me will be my email, which is listed here. And I usually just answer email all day, every day, seven days a week. So don't hesitate to email if you have a question or if there's any issue that comes up. We will be using D2L and most of your content will be placed on D2L. However, we will also be using Mastering Physics, which is a website where you will have all your homework online. The textbook for the course is College Physics by Knight Jones Field. It is a new edition this year, so you are welcome to buy that edition or a third edition will be fine. It, there are a broad range of topics covered in this course. We don't go into a lot of depth in, in all the topics, but we're gonna start with some thermodynamics, mainly because your first couple of labs are in thermodynamics. And so I thought we may as well start with that topic. You will then go into some kinematics and this should be review. So the first couple of chapters of kinematics you will have done in previous physics courses. But as soon as we get into two dimensional motion that will be new material. Dynamics deals with forces and Newton's laws. And once again, you will have had some introduction to this but the problems will just be, I guess, a little more complex than your last courses. We will also do some simple harmonic motion and standing waves and then a little bit on electric forces, fields, and voltage. And it's a really excellent textbook, so I would recommend that you have some form of the edition of this textbook to refer to and to read. However, we will be using the site Mastering Physics, and you do have to buy a license for that, and it is a mandatory license. It costs $49.99, and that's actually a good deal. The price has come down. It used to be $75. Um, on that website, where you will be doing your actual homework, there are also an enormous number of resources, videos and um, other instructors doing problems. And it's a really excellent uh, website. You can watch a video that I've made, the link is here, and I'll send that link out as well independently on how to buy your license at the Camosun bookstore. When you go to the bookstore, the key is you don't click on textbooks, you click on access codes. Now, if you're really keen to register, you can go ahead and do that as well, but I will send out a document on how to register for Mastering Physics. So the course content and the outline are all posted on D2L, so please read that. There are also a number of resources linked there for you as students, but the important points are to, to notice how you're gonna be graded. So all the work that you do on Mastering Physics will be 30% of your grade, you will have four written term tests, one hour each, and you'll be able to take the best three of those four, that'll be 30%. And then there will be mandatory online labs, which are only 10% because there are only four labs. And then your final exam during the regular final exam period will be 30% of your mark. So what I've done is I've laid out the course very logically and sequentially and made up checklists for you to follow every week. So what these activities will involve, a lot of it will be watching some videos on mastering physics, watching videos of me doing physics problems and reading through PowerPoint notes, which will ba basically act as your course notes. You will constantly be questioned. So it'll be concept questions, reiterating what the concepts are. Do you understand? Can you answer this question? Um, and then, and you're not graded on all those activities. They're just resources for you and you're definitely recommended that you do that. And that is how you're gonna get the content delivered. I will not be doing standing up in front of a whiteboard doing one hour lectures, nor will I be live lecturing. I just don't trust the, the system to not crash during a live lecture. So I will be making up a whole bunch of videos. I post them on YouTube and you can watch them at your leisure. They will also have accompanying transcripts so that if you don't feel like sitting through the, the video, you can just look at the notes um, that I've written during the video. Now on Mastering Physics, this is where you will be graded and your weekly assignments will 
involve both just regular cranking out numbers in physics problems, as well as dynamic study modules, which are more conceptual kinds of questions. These are what the checklists look like on D2L. So every week you're gonna to wanna to go on to D2L and it tells you exactly what to do. So for example, starting next week, week two, or you can start this week if you like, um, you, it'll tell you what to do. So go to master, it'll say, go to Mastering Physics, look at these videos. There'll be links to Mastering Physics. There'll be links to the PowerPoint slides, which are both on the Mastering Physics website as well as on D2L. And you, as you complete these exercises, you put a tick mark and then you'll be able to keep track of what you need to do and when you need to do it. So this is an example of the first couple of slides that you will have for each chapter. It will tell you what the chapter is. It'll tell you exactly what sections in the textbook are covered in the course. So as you can see in chapter 12, we only do a couple of sections. So it'd be a really good idea if you actually read those sections, but the PowerPoint slides will be a summary of those sections. So that's basically done for you. Um, also for every chapter, there will be a list of videos that the publishers have provided. There are, some of them are really good videos. Um, much better than I could ever do. They have animations, they have diagrams, they're, they're really high quality videos. And I would recommend that you watch them. So here are the links. These links will also be in Mastering Physics. So you don't have to link from here if you don't want to. There is also something called end of chapter video tutor solutions that the textbook supplies. And these are basically, if you went to a lecture and, and you watched the, an instructor do these problems on the textbook, and this is what the, the, they would look like. And that's what I'm going to be doing as well. I'm going to be simply doing individual problems so that if you're stuck on a problem or you need to look at one problem before doing your assignment, you'll be able to look at those videos. This is what the study area in Mastering Physics looks like. So if you want a go-to place for all the videos and all the resources from the textbook, you can go into the study area on Mastering Physics, click on any chapter, and you will find all the videos and all the solutions and even full lecture videos. So if you feel like watching a 60 minute lecture of the author of the, the textbook talking about some topic, you can, you're welcome to watch those as well. So you will have strict due dates. Wednesdays and Thursday nights are your physics due dates, midnight, every single week. Okay, and the computer handles this due date. So if you do not get the work done, you simply get a zero. There's no overriding it. There's no me changing that. So you have a week to do these assignments. They don't take long. They, they give an estimate of what the average time is that students have spent doing these assignments. And it's always between one and two hours. So you simply need to schedule your week so that you've got these done by midnight Wednesday night and midnight Thursday night, which are the um, the concept questions for Thursday night. Um, all the due dates are very clearly written both in Mastering Physics and in the calendar on D2L. So you'll always know what's due when. There are four term tests. They will occur on Tuesdays. Now your lab periods are both Tuesdays and Fridays, but you're split up into two groups. But I have seen your timetables and I see that you're all available both Tuesdays and Fridays from 9.30 till 11.30. So I'd like to do the tests, everybody together on Tuesdays. I'll also use these lab periods for giving you lab information, as well as if you just wanna to talk to me during um, collaborate sessions, that's fine. You will, as I said, only four labs. The first two labs are thermodynamics labs. So we'll do them quite soon in the term and get them done. The last two labs are electricity and voltage labs, so they'll be much later in the term. So we'll sort of do a couple of labs, have a big break, and then do the last two labs. So this is what you need to do before midnight, Wednesday, January 13th. You need to buy the Mastering Physics license at the Camosun Bookstore. Have a look at the video if you're having trouble with that. Make sure you click on the correct textbook. Other instructors are using Mastering Physics. And if you click on the wrong textbook, you're gonna get their license instead of the one that you need. Now, when you register on Mastering Physics, can you please make sure that you use an email address that you will routinely check? Because for me to talk to the whole class by email is much quicker and easier if I use Mastering Physics rather than D2L. So make sure you're getting those emails. And then you have to do the first assignment, um, due midnight, Wednesday, January 13th. 
And it's nothing to do with physics. It's an assignment simply on how to use mastering physics. Okay, so bye for now. And I'm sure we'll talk more uh, during the first lab period or just email me if you have questions.